Letter on the occasion of the beatification of 74 brothers of the Christian schools. In their distress they cried to the Lord, who saved them in their peril. He brought them forth from darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their chains asunder. Dear brothers and Layla Salian, This song of liberation that comes from the heart of the psalmist also resounds in the life and death of our brother martyrs. Educated in the school of St. John Baptist de La Salle, they were willing to witness to their faith in Christ, not only with their lips, but also by shedding their blood. Love for life did not deter them from death. With great joy, we will celebrate the beatification of 74 of our brothers and one lay person on October 13. This is the largest beatification celebrated until now of the Spanish persecution. Altogether, 522 martyrs will be beatified on this occasion. In the 20th century of the 1930s, the church in Spain was the object of a fierce offensive on all levels, as the laws which prohibited worship and religious activities were applied and transformed into bloody persecutions. Numerous priests and religious were brutally assassinated for no reason other than their Christian and religious identity. In recent years, many of them have been beatified and some have been canonized. In the sad and at the same time glorious listing of these martyrs, including those to be beatified at this time, are 165 of our brothers. I believe that it is worth it to underscore at this time when we brothers and lay partners share the same mission. The fact that one of the martyrs, Jose Gorostazu, died alongside the brothers in the House of Formation in Grignon. During this year of faith, it is moving to think that the same faith that we profess at times weekly is the same faith for which many of our brothers gave their lives. There is no doubt that each one of them is, for us, a splendid example of fidelity and strength. Brothers, I invite you to give thanks to God and to know these true prophets of hope as John Paul II called them. Their witness has extraordinary strength, which, like the grain of wheat that dies in the ground, produces much fruit. The example of heroic generosity that these brothers offer us should move us to follow, as they did, in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, so that our entire life will be a credible witness of the faith we profess. At a historic time in which we are surrounded by so many people who deny God and fight against religion. With these thoughts, brothers, I extend to you my most cordial greeting in Christ and in Delosal, Brother Alvaro Rodriguez Echavaria, Superior General.